details of that, let's bring in California Democrat Congressman Brad Sherman. Congressman Sherman is a senior member of the Foreign Affairs Committee and sits on the Terror Subcommittee. Um, sir, thank you for joining me. And very quickly, before we get to presidential politics, I do want to ask you about what's happening in Iraq. How serious is it in your mind that the perimeter of the Green Zone has been breached? It's one of many factors that demonstrate that Iraq is uh, poorly governed. You've got a, a sectarian regime in Baghdad with corruption that faces not only ISIS, uh, it uh, uh, has, uh, rel ha ought to have better relations with uh, the Kurds. It has not reached out to the Sunnis. Um, this is a government that's in some trouble, not because of today. Today just reflects that it's in trouble. Okay. Uh, Congressman, let's move on to presidential politics here. As this week we saw Donald Trump laying out his foreign policy agenda. In his speech, he not only attacked the Obama administration's policies on ISIS, but also the Bush administration policy of nation building in the Middle East. Did you find anything workable or reassuring in Mr. Trump's speech? I, I think that uh, he's a very bad spokesperson. Uh, but he does mention a couple of uh, ideas. I mean, a broken clock is right a couple times a day. Uh, we can no longer ignore uh, the burden-sharing issue. Uh, when Japan wants us to defend uh, their islands, uh, you'd think that they would be defending their islands as well, but they have a hard ceiling of 1% of uh, their GDP that they're willing to spend on defense. Uh, likewise, this huge trade deficit, I know you had the professor on uh, just a few minutes ago, we cannot ignore the fact that uh, we're importing half a trillion dollars more goods every year than we're exporting, and uh, there is, it, it does hurt jobs. It has uh, reduced wages, prevented wages from rising, and uh, all three presidential candidates have focused on the fact that our current trade policy needs, uh, needs a replacement. As you know, yesterday in your home state there and mine, mm -hmm. I should add, Mr. Trump turned back mm -hmm. to his domestic agenda. How are his proposals playing in the Golden State? Well, I think they'll play real relatively well with the Republican electorate, but the Republican electorate is uh, as little as 25 percent of the state. Um, I th the polls indicate, my own uh, sense indicates, that he will do better than either of his opponents in California. Uh, whether he goes to the convention with 1237 uh, is hard to judge at this time. And uh, Indiana being winner take all uh, may turn out to be just as important as California. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mr. Trump's rally in Burlingame, I know you've seen that. It was met with mm -hmm. protesters big time yesterday. They forced the candidate to use an alternate entrance, in fact, and come in on foot instead of in the, the car. Uh, in a tweet today, Donald Trump wrote, here's the quote, the protesters in California were thugs and criminals. Many are professionals. They should be dealt with strongly by law enforcement. What do you think about Mr. Trump's response? Well, I think he's... Uh... Uh, doing what you'd expect him to do to rally uh, his base. And I think the protesters in Costa Mesa and Burlingame uh, did Donald Trump uh, a favor. Uh, those people who already uh, hate Donald Trump uh, don't need to be persuaded in November. But if Trump can say that, uh, can, can juxtapose himself not with Hillary Clinton, who I think would be a very good American president, but juxtapose himself with violent demonstrators attacking a, a cop car and, uh, and, and, and police officers, uh, then he can create a picture that uh, will help him get elected. So I, uh, as someone who uh, has won 25 or so elections, uh, I'm, uh, I, 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 don't, I, I think the, the demonstrators may have uh, met their own psychological needs but uh, they're not helping us keep Trump out of the White House. Congressman Brad Sherman uh, there in California, and uh, congratulations on 25 elections. That's something to be very proud of, sir. Thank you for your time. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you.